Here, we'll show you how the solubility of a compound can be changed. Here, we're dealing mainly with low solubility or slightly soluble compounds. These include compounds identified as low solubility on the solubility table and all the compounds listed on the KSP table in your data booklet. In any question dealing with altering solubility, we all will start with two important things. First, we identify which compound has low solubility. We do this by consulting the solubility table or the KSP table. Remember compounds containing spectator ions, which are alkali metal cations, and the nitrate ion, usually don't have low solubility. After we've identified the low solubility compound, we write the solubility equilibrium equation for it. This equation is central to our discussion. As an example, we'll start by considering the low solubility compound barium sulfate. Its solubility equilibrium equation looks like this, with a solid BASO4 on the left and its dissolved ions on the right. In the animation to follow, we'll represent the amount of each substance by the size of its text in the equation. Watch it closely. Anything which causes this equilibrium to shift to the left, like this, results in both dissolved ions having a net decrease in concentration, and the undissolved solid having an increase in mass. Remember, we cannot change the concentration of a solid, only the amount, or the mass of solid present in the container. So a shift to the left means there's more undissolved solid and less dissolved ions. This means a shift to the left causes the solubility to decrease. This is something you should always remember. Shifting to the left decreases the solubility. Now let's consider the solubility equilibrium equation for barium sulfate again, and see what happens when it shifts to the right, like this. We can see that as a result of shifting to the right, the concentrations of the dissolved ions have increased, and the mass of the undissolved solid has decreased. So a shift to the right means there is less undissolved solid remaining and more dissolved ions in the solution. So in other words, as this equilibrium shifts to the right, more of the solid dissolves. So we can say that when the solubility equilibrium shifts to the right, the solubility of the compound increases. So to summarize what we've done, when the solubility equilibrium shifts to the left, the solubility decreases and more solid forms, and when the solubility equilibrium shifts to the right, the solubility increases, and more of the solid dissolves. It's very important to remember these.